What's up, guys? I am back. I am back. What is up? So, nursing school update. I'm in a whole new semester. I've been in school for a few weeks now. Just getting adjusted to going back after that long break we just had from Christmas break. But everything is going really, really extremely well, y'all. My grades are amazing. I'm getting A's. Like, I'm still in that 90 zone. I got to... I got at least get, well, you know what? I got a hundred the other day, so that's good. But that was on a quiz. Like, I would love to just for one time in this nursing program to get a 100 on my test. Because I've been maintaining a 91, 92, almost 93 average. So a 92 is an A. So I need to be like 93 and higher on all my tests from here on out. But anyway, nursing school is going great. Um, longer clinical hours. We are at school for 12 hours a day. We're at the hospital for 12 hours a day. But only one day a week, so that's cool. And it'll go by so fast because it's just so much to do at the hospital. So I thought it was gonna be draining because I don't even work 12 hours at my job. I only work eight hours a day. I used to do 12, but that was years ago. But nonetheless, it go by really quick. Um, nothing too excited happening at the hospital just daily hospital stuff um i go to, i get the chance to go to my favorite part of the hospital which is the or his his future or nurse here but yes but i also want to talk about the madness in florida i saw that i'm pretty sure you guys are aware of what happened in florida it was these three schools in florida who were trading false documents, like transcripts and diplomas, and they were charging students. I think the LPN students, they charged them $10,000. And for RN uh, documentation, $17,000. And these students were paying all that money. They were actual students at one point, but they wanted to take the shortcut, so they paid the school this money Mind you, these schools had actual students in there for the right reasons and doing everything the legal way. But they also were break, breaking up millions and millions of dollars by charging these students um, these crazy prices to get these falsified uh, transcripts and diplomas. And they actually helped them study for their boards. Now they, people say the license are fake, but technically, they did pass the state boards, which is the um, test that you take to actually get your license. Graduating from a nursing school does not make you a nurse. That's just one step of it. The next step is to go take your state boards to get your nursing license. So these women, well, I'm pretty sure it's you guys too, they actually, after they paid all that money to get these falsified documents, they actually got some help i think they actually provided help for them to study for this for the NCLEX is what it's called state boards nursing licenses all the same right and they actually passed it so it's like you just prove to yourself you are capable of being a nurse because you took you went to instead of taking all the steps you skipped over years of work and went straight take the test which people like me we sit in class for a year or two depending if you're European or are you not you go through the class you pay your money not seventeen thousand dollars and you take your test and you do it the right way so you have the intellect to be a nurse but you just took a huge 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 shortcut and I don't know how this operate. They call it Operation Nightingale. If you don't know who Nightingale is, Florence Nightingale, the mother of nursing, right? Learn about her in nursing school. So that's why they call it that. But I think it's crazy. Like, how could you just sit here and think, hmm, let's just charge all these people all this ridiculous money and take the shortcut? Like, did you not think that you were going to get in trouble? Did you not think one of these students could have told on you? So the FBI got involved. Not sure how they got involved. 
All together, I believe, including the staff and the students, there were 7,600 people involved in this Operation Nightingale. So far, 21 people. I don't know, I think most of the actual staff, the people who work for the schools, because there's three schools all together, they did um, get arrested. And they're still looking for all the rest of these nurses. I'm, I'm gonna guess the rest of them probably got 7,000 plus students with these nursing licenses who do not deserve these nursing licenses. Because after they got their license, they went over to other um, states, Texas, New York. Those are two I can remember, remember off the top of my head. And now they're trying to find them. But I don't know what made them investigate these schools. Was it that it was just too many students graduate? Because you know, most nursing schools, they can only take in so many students at one time. And one, that's kind of one of the problems, one of the many problems with the nursing shortage because you don't have enough students because there's so many people who want to be a nurse but they just can't get into these nursing programs because it's limited. Like let's say, I don't know how many students my school take at a time, but let's just say two to 300 students at a time. Well, you know, by the time that program ends, you're not going to start, you're not going to have 200 to 300 that you started with because most people, you know, stuff happens, life happens. Some students get pregnant, they can't afford school anymore, they're not passing, and you come back, maybe you end up with, out of, let's say, out of 300, you may end up with 200 who actually make it through. So, and that's a problem. And then another problem, we don't have enough nursing educators. Because most people who go into nursing, they, if they do want to become nursing educators, they go into that later on in life when they have tons and tons of experience. And of course, most programs you need your doctorate. But I've seen some of them, some educators only have a master's, but working on a doctorate. So that's one thing but I thought that was very very unethical of those schools and what provoked them to do something like that because you gotta realize we are dealing with people's lives and you see how careless that some nurses can be some nurses who actually you know went about it the correct way how careless they can be but now you got some people who have a mindset of taking shortcuts they have their license who knows what other shortcuts they're going to take when they actually interact with people in the hospitals and the nursing home or doctor's office or whatever facility that they choose to work at and so far there has been there has not been any reports of any um unfortunate events that were caused by these uh i keep wanting to say women and i apologize i know that there are male nurses out there but obviously this is a female dominant career so I just keep thinking female matter of fact we have some male I have some classmates who are males and there's nothing wrong with that um yeah very unfortunate and I hope that they catch all 70 600 people that were involved in this it makes a bad name for us nurses you know no nurses who are going about this the correct way like me and my classmates you know this is a accredited school i just bought it for school if you didn't know you know we pay money not seventeen thousand dollars it doesn't cost that much i think this semester is only costing me eleven hundred dollars so you know that's affordable you know i get up every morning i come here or to the hospital I do what I have to do. I study pretty much all day and every chance I get. And I think, well, I'm sorry. I know I'm going to be a great nurse. Uh, I'm already in the LPN. But, you know, I'm you know, I'm here to be an RN. And so far, everything is going well. And we're going to have a productive day. I have two tests today. And I feel very confident. They're very, very confident. But I just had to get on her and talk about that whole 
Florida situation is very, very unfortunate. Like I said, I still want to know what made, what stemmed this investigation. I believe probably someone told, or maybe the the state board was getting kind of things just wasn't seeming right. Like, why do we have so many students who are graduating from these? schools but we know these schools are can only hold so many people at a time or did maybe it was a student that told because maybe they didn't have a ten thousand dollars a seventeen thousand dollars for whatever reason i mean telling in this part that is it's a good if you see something say something that rules apply in every aspect of life not just at the airport <laughs> you know so yeah i'm going to keep up with this story because i would like to know how this all unravels and hopefully none of your loved ones were caught up in this mess and yeah I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen to the actual nurses obviously they going to get um, they will never be able to practice nursing ever and I don't know what type of jail or what the law is about that that is yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on it. It's a lot of questions that has not been answered yet. I've been watching all the reports. I even watched that press conference with the, with the older guy on there. But yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on this. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on school because it is going so great for me. Like, I um, I get so excited. Like, you know, most people get nervous for a test. I get excited for it. So I'm like, oh, I got this. I got this. And if you want me to, I can um, do a video on how I study in my nursing program, which my study habits are probably different from everyone else's because I literally study every chance I get. And when I get tired of studying, I do stop and take a break. And sometimes my break may consist of me watching YouTube. <laughs> Something simple as that, just taking my mind off of studying to give myself a mental break. I get up, I go work out because I got my workout clothes on today. I'm going to be here all day today, so I'm going to work out at their gym today. And I, was, I might show you a few clips of that if there's not too many people in here. Because nine times out of ten, it's going to be all men in that gym. Because that's just how it is, especially at the school gym. So, But I will keep you guys updated. And thank you thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, bear with me life is getting really really busy this semester especially this first eight weeks but i think next month things will kind of slow down and i'll be able to put out way more content but until the end thank you and make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button we're gonna keep up with this these florida nurses okay and i will see you guys in the next video i need to get up in here bye